there is strength in numbers, and we want to go where it's least likely to be affected by the epidemic. So what better place to go to regroup than rural Pennsylvania, which a bunch of people who, for the most part, have religiously sworn off technology and own guns. Right. <laughs> Where's Amish country? Like an hour away. And then how, how do we get there? I took these as a yellow cap on my how it all happened and why it happened and what it was, not the zombie apocalypse, the toilet fight. It was a zombie apocalypse. They were gaslighting us. Not that we were gaslighting. That was gaslighting. <laughs> anyway, they called it the next step. A reality completely tailored to the individual's preferred experience. That's how they tried to spin it. They used the word utopia. Oh, which made me think of the movie Ever After with Drew Barrymore. Well, because she reads a book, Utopia. By the fireplace, because she's Cinderella, it's a really good movie. <laughs> Consciousness transmitted through frequency to another plane. So the people that we lost that day weren't actually lost. They were just someplace else. And what was left were bodies, soulless meat vessels trudging the globe. No person in there, no purpose, just hunger. Which wasn't part of the plan. This was all supposed to be a peaceful transition. Just some faulty wiring. Pretty big mistake. It's a lot to process, I know. They offered us the opportunity to upgrade from our lives on planet Earth. 
which they call the last generation existence on a dying planet. But I said no. So did I. And I did too. Because when you get right down to it, it's a really big plot twist, but I wasn't really ready to make that kind of commitment. <laughs> <laughs> we lost six billion souls during a forced upgrade. We transported to a reality that's perfect, but just stays to have hope. Hope for what can be created when an old system dies. And we may have been bloodied and battered and severely traumatized. Oh, I have really bad night terrors now. <laughs> <laughs> but we still have hope. So off we went to Amish country to find our place in the